is a big week for sports. March Madness has narrowed down to the final four, and today is the season opener for baseball. Big sporting events mean big money and ticket sales, and my next guest has a new way for all of you diehard fans to get your hands on those hard-to-get tickets. Hagos Meritab is the president and co-founder of YouKnew.com. It's a stock market for sports tickets. Welcome to Happy Hour. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Okay, so let me see the, how this works. It kind of works like the stock market futures and so forth. If I think, like, for example, if I think my Mets hey. are going to make it to the World <laughs> Series, then how am I going to get a ticket to the big game? Okay, thanks, Mr. Matt. We'll thanks, see you in a, few, in a few minutes. <laughs> well, what you would do is you'd come on to youknew.com okay. and you'd buy a product called a fantasy seat for the Mets in the World Series. And that contract ranges in price from about $50 all the way up to $500. And if the Mets make it to the World Series, you get a ticket to the game. It's that simple. There's no waiting in line. There's no wondering whether or not you'll be able to get a ticket. You guarantee yourself a ticket to the game. Okay, so I buy it today for 500 bucks. Uh -huh. I want to get the best seat in the house. Say it's 500 bucks. Uh -huh. And then instead of waiting till the, they make it to the World Series, when the tickets at that point will be what? You know, three thousand dollars, two thousand so dollars, exactly. Forth. Then I get it for five hundred dollars. Exactly, you will have bought it, and like a stock, you could sell it at any time. So you may have bought it for five hundred in the beginning, or now before the season even started. Right. And then once the team starts doing much better, if you change your mind, you decide to sell it. You could even sell it for a profit potentially. Okay. And then what about if they don't make it to the so World Series? So if they don't make it to the World Series and you're hanging on to that contract, it expires and is worthless. But you can sell it at any point up until that point to either lock in a profit or cut some of your losses. So if I hang on to it then, and they don't make it to the World Series, I lose my 500 bucks. Whatever you paid for it, yeah. Um, and the or, prices move up and down. Right, and it, as it gets closer and closer to the World Series, and it, it looks as if they're going to make it or not going to make it, the price fluctuates, I imagine. The prices are fluctuating right now. We've yeah. had the products up for about three weeks, and already people are buying and selling these contracts across all the teams. And where do you get that ticket initially? Say I sure. want to buy the ticket today, where, who am I buying it from? Sure. You buy it from unu.com and we get it because we have relationships with the top ticket resellers across the country that allow us to get the tickets. So how are you guys making money off of this website? You're banking that the Mets don't make it to the World Series in my case and you make you get my 500 bucks. So it's a couple different ways. First of all, there's a transaction fee for everyone that buys or sells on our exchange. And the way the contracts actually work, it's very similar to insurance. So all the contracts that are sold for teams that don't make it allow us to buy the tickets for the contracts that are sold for the teams that do. And so when did you, you this started in 2004, you started this company? Yes, myself. And how'd you get the uh, money and what'd you, how'd you come up with the idea? Sure, sure. My business partner, Jerry, uh, came up with the idea when trying to go to a baseball game. He was trying to go to a Red Sox game, couldn't afford the tickets and thought, hey, wouldn't it be neat if there was insurance for tickets? We started the company and the two of us self-funded it initially and about two years into the project we actually brought in some angel investors. Did I read that your partner, then Jerry it is, uh -huh. that he, he basically liquidated his 401k because to, to get the company going? So as we were getting the business started, this was actually with our final four product, we had to dig into our own pockets and yes he liquidated his 401k to ensure that we could deliver tickets for all of our customers and that's exactly what we did. Are you guys profitable now? Absolutely. We're making money now. We're ex we're expanding now so we're spending money on marketing and things like that but the actual business itself is generating lots of money for us. All right, pretty fascinating. You know, I just appreciate any way that the average folks can buy a ticket as well and not have to pay. I mean, like, remember the Super Bowl? We went to the Super Bowl and it was unbelievable that you had to buy, we're tossing it over to Cody. Five thousand uh, bucks for the yeah. bad seat. Did, yeah, it was terrible. So this is at least a way for you to get into the game Absolutely. initially. Absolutely. Sort of like the NCAA is being outrageous with the ticket prices. It is now down to the final four.